we are starting. And it says we're bad, but we know we're good. Um, so if we have lagging here, I hope not. Um, just bear with it. Um, I hear us now. I got to mute me. I had to mute me too. Oh, uh, maybe that's what I heard. That's what you heard. Hi, everybody. Let me make sure that's it. Okay. So cool. Awesome. We made it. We're not really that late. We're three minutes late. So that's not bad compared to what I usually do. <laughs> so awesome. You did well. well. Yeah, we did good. Um, who do we have in the chat here today already? Oh, we have, hold on, Joel was first, and then Laurie says, no, she's been waiting since yesterday. So <laughs> actually, I've been waiting since yesterday. <laughs> but no, I'll let you guys, I'll be first. And then um, Simon, um, and I invited him to come visit. And R. Willoughby James, my neighbor, how are you doing? And of course, we have Le Liana. Great. And Raven Hi. Shadows, how you doing, girl? Beautiful girls, beautiful ladies. Good to see you guys. Um, I posted the link earlier, so hopefully it wasn't too early um, for the for the um, link to be posted. So hopefully everybody got it okay. Awesome. Okay, so last week. Um, we got, um, oh, okay, cool. Simon might pop in. He's just a little, it's early where he's at. Who am I calling? Apparently my Bluetooth's calling somebody. That's funny. I'm sorry. Hold on. John's hooked up to my Bluetooth and he's. There's always something it's to keep funny. life interesting here. So we'll it's let her funny. fix that. Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to be here. Got some new flavors. Hold on in. just one second. Hold on one second. Got some new flavors in today. I finally got some Mullenberry Butter My Biscuit and Mullenberry Le awesome. Legendary Custard. I want to play with those. Mystery special guest. Yes, Simon. I really hope that you can come on, you know, just accidentally drop a pan or something in the kitchen and there's a sense that you're making breakfast so you don't want to get up. <laughs> okay, he turned it off. Good. Forgot. Sorry, guys. Typical man. Sorry. Not just men. It's just relationships, couples. You forget. You know, oh yeah, my Bluetooth connected to her Bluetooth or my phone and vice versa. So, you know, it gets wires crossed and all messed up. And I don't want to talk to his people. He don't want to talk to my people. So we got to <laughs> work out the kinks. So it's all good. So, um, <laughs> um, so um, I'm hearing you talk about you got Mullenberry um, Biscuit. Butter My Biscuit. Butter My Biscuit. I love the name of that. Legendary Custard. Cool. And so I want to play with one or the other at some point in time, but I'm excited. Then it, the legendary does smell good as it is. Mm -hmm. I don't smell an excess of butyric acid. No. Okay. Well, there's that's... a little bit there, but you know what I mean? I know it steeps out. Yeah. I smell the potential. Um, Joel, it's a... Butter My Biscuit is a... Let me explain this right. It's a, well, a biscuit in the UK is like a cookie for us. Definitely. Um, so it, it's a cookie flavor, um, but it's very butter, buttery. So it's a buttery cookie. Does that make sense? Yes, it is a strong cookie. It's not like a biscuit that you're going to have with biscuits and gravy. It's not like it's aware definitely, of it's definitely a cookie. It's strong. I mean, you can smell the texture in this. You smell the butter. I mean, it's uh, legit. Similar to in a wear a biscuit, as in it's a cookie type thing, but it's ha it's a lot more butter heavy. And I even want to say it has um a nuttiness to it. 
trying to remember. I need to check my notes on that one. Um, I think it has to add it. Say it again. I'm about to add it and read notes too. Okay, I, I want to say hi, sub vapes. How are you doing? Um, I want to say it has um, maybe hazelnut or something like that with it, um, which like um, in a where a biscuit doesn't have. It's just a a, a biscuit with butter. Um, so this one is more like has more of the a, a nuttiness to it. Oh, the funky backdrops. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, we had to get our um, significant others to put up the rods and the brackets um, to get them to. Were... Yeah, Laurie, maybe so. Um, a Danish butter cookie. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good description. I would say, yeah, that's probably pretty close to it. I agree. Just off scent, I haven't yeah. even tested it yet. I would agree. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, our back. We were gonna do some matching backdrops, and then we decided to do backdrops that were more our personalities. Um, so that's kind of how we ended up. She's the Harley girl, and I'm like the heart and di diamonds and flowers. Yeah. So there you go. That's that is the sign of a Milwaukee eight from a 2019 Street Bob with a stage one upgrade. Yes. A butter shortbread. I don't have it. Just throwing it out there. Butter shortbread. Would that Similar? be like a Danish butter cookie there, Simon? If you said butter shortbread. Similar. I want, I want it to smell say, similar. If I get mine out, I have to go over there and dig for it. I have um, to go to an actual brand. And when Lori described it as the Christmas tin, and the nuttiness and the scent and everything I'm getting from the Christmas tin and the, the heavy butter and the, the texture of it, just off the scent alone, I would have to agree. But just saying butter shortbread, Simon, I'm really not sure because it there's so much variance by brand. But I would say it's close. Very close. <laughs> Let me stick some in my, on my hand and some BG. I got to taste this now. There you go. Go for that. I didn't know I had vape mail. Who doesn't realize I had vape mail? On my husband, No, listen. My husband had directions from his new humidor, his cigar humidor, laid on top of this plat package that only had two flavors. So I put it on his side of the couch and out of his chaos goes where his chaos goes. And okay. so I was like, and he comes back in the bedroom last night. It's 2 a.m. from his, or came back from the convention after I did. I came back earlier. Mm -hmm. He said, um, didn't you realize there's, this is liquid in here? This is two flavors. I'm like, oh, I didn't even notice when I lifted it up. And so I was opening them at that hour. Oh. Sniffed them. Oh, I got ground. I sniffed them and I got real excited and then I passed out. So, oh, is that what it was? What you're talking about now? Is that mm -hmm. what you're making? Those two flavors. Oh. So oh. the there's definitely nuttiness in there. I don't oh, lie. Nutty. <laughs> no, I I just you can't. I just you can't smell it, and it's new to me. Stop picking on me. Stop I pick know. Me. I'm just, what? Don't, don't pick on the noob. No, but you're like, yeah, there's nuttiness in there. Like, oh, she was. I had to double check what she. Thing. I'm teasing. No, I'm teasing. No, 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 the butter is such a good butter. But at though. least you know that you taste nuttiness. Your palate's there to taste nuttiness. So this is a good thing. How are you, kind ground? Good to see you there in the chat. Yes. That is so um, exciting. I haven't I haven't heard from him in a while. I know you said oh. you've talked to him. How are you? Um, how are you doing? Oh, you did mix that up, sub vapes. How did you like it? That was, um, oh my gosh, that was um, Hippie Vapes recipe. Um, yeah, he's had a rough month because of all the treatments and stuff, but um, hard to eat and stuff. I'll just throw that out so we don't have to type. Oh, well, the last time I chatted with him, that's what he was telling me. And I was wondering, you know, is it is it time to have like, for nutrition, you know, oh, I would yeah. if I had to, um, but it's just so good to see him. That's awesome. 
I'm eating again, but slowly. He lost 50 pounds. Ouch. Holy crap. Ouch. But I'm really happy that you're eating. We continue mm -hmm. to pray for you and send Absolutely. you love and all that good stuff. Um, yes. So nice to have you here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay. So you got two flavors in the mail. Yeah. That is really awesome that you ordered and only got two flavors. Who does that? The person that must have those two flavors. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's balanced and smooth, tasty. Oh, you wanted something nuttier? Just add nuts to it, man. <laughs> um, Did sub, wow. sub it, the recipe that they're referencing to, the vanilla butternut, but, butternut cake, um, so B5, five that you suggested, was there a cookie that was added to it for texture, like most people do? Not in that recipe? No, it yeah. was, um, oh my gosh, I'd have to go look it up. It had butternut, butternut, and when I say butternut, I want to say butternut squash. It's like a southern thing. But it mm -hmm. had like butternut and hazelnut and stuff like that in it. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's saying it did have sugar cookies. I can't remember. It was, I just remember it being nutty, but he's wanting a, a nuttier um, type of vape. I'm sure I, you know, let me keep looking for stuff and I'll find something. Um, Hi, Dean Taylor. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, Simon. Yeah, I can give you your 50 pounds if it was that easy, Simon. Um, my vape mail, I talked a little bit about yesterday, but I've got a Lumi stand and I, I got to move my chat window so I can see, um, if I'm showing it correctly. Cause I don't, yeah, there we go. A Lumi stand. I got a black that's purple. Like you can kind of see through it a little bit and it has that, this is one of the first ones she made. So it's like an, a Lumi original, this one, um, but I have my new RDA on it. I just that like so sharp. It really does look good. I love it. What's that? I just love Lumi's work. She has. Oh, I know. She did a good job. Yes. To detail. She makes her everything is well made. Everything fits right. Yes, like it does. I love it. Yeah, it's great. And I even had to like. I got my RDA stuck on there, and I had to like get a rag to like twist it off really hard. And in this. The 510 stayed in there perfectly. So she did a great job like putting it together. So I fired up and did my own RDA. And if I have to tell what kind it is, again, I have to look up. A V2. What did I call this? Turk. Turk RDA. It's very similar to a goon, except you unscrew the two screws on top and it raises up. By itself you don't have to like shake it to get the little bars to it to come up it, the bars raise up with it so it's easy to so easy to build on so sub vapes just was telling me what was in there um said sugar cap capella sugar cookie was in there and wonder flavors hazelnuts and cream and flavor west hazelnut and i'm wondering if, is it crazy on a noob suggestion if using this um, butter my biscuit in place of the cap sugar cookie would push that nuttiness and still um, have the texture that you're after in that profile? I wonder if it would work. Um, it could. I don't know that it would. That's not as nutty, I don't think, as as which you mean as the sugar cookie instead just of the sugar cookie, leaving the uh, leaving the yeah, nut yeah, instead of the yeah, yeah leave the nut. Yeah. I haven't played with it at all. But. Added hazelnuts and cream. Okay, yeah. He's hazelnuts added. and cream and um, flavor West hazelnut. So, mm -hmm. sub babe says butter my biscuit. What's that? It's a new it's a new flavor from Mullenberry that I just got in. They and have it at Chef. Chef. If you read it up in the read up in the chat, it's not a biscuit. It's it's a cookie with a heavy butter note and and a nutty note to it. And I haven't vaped it yet, but I'm excited to. But 
Tam knows all her stuff. She she's vaped it. There we go. So what else did, did I get done this week? I made a new recipe for my friend Chris, who almost vapes exclusively um, blue raspberry vapes. And his girlfriend, who's a hair client of mine, says that he likes Airheads Factory's blue raspberry. And I've never tried it. But I read the description. It's a very funny, overly elaborate description of basically blue raspberry taffy swimming in a deeper blue raspberry compote. So I gave that a shot and I had to let it steep for four days and I can't put it down. So I made sure I made him a sample bottle before I vape it all. Mm -hmm. This is my first blue raspberry. Yay, Ken Brown. That's awesome news. Awesome. Finally. Oh, I thought they had butter my biscuit at Chef's, but I don't see it. Let me tell you where I got mine. One moment. I have put my invoice away. But I know he's at, I know where it's at in the U.S. But I just, I know he's in, um, Full City. I know, I know, I know Sub Vapes is in the U.K. though. Yeah. That's why I'm looking at Chef's. Well, I forget that you know, you actually know where everybody's at. I'm only beginning to know. Where <laughs> like we should have a little, a little country of origin sign, you know, like little symbols, so we at least yeah. know we don't have to go. What time zone are you in? What what day is it there? Um, yeah, you know, um, when's a good time to contact you? <laughs> yeah, I have all that in my head almost now. I'm like, oh, you're here, you're here, so you're like eight hours. You're 14 hours. You're three hours behind. And you're that. in the future. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting used to Australia hours kind of automatically now. Uh, Denmark and the, the UK and China, those are a little bit more difficult uh, for my brain to you know. it out, but I'm working on it. So whenever you're ready, I do, I haven't posted the recipe yet, but I did finish the commentary on it. I'm, I'm eager to see what people think about it. So just let me yeah, know when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just was looking if I could share that, but they don't have it. It's okay. This will take me just a minute, and then I have to enlarge the whole screen. So it's not published yet. You know I will, and I had help from a couple different people working on this, including Paul, who's just so good at that. bringing things to a balance. Okay, here we go. So let me enlarge the screen. Ah, move out of my way. Booger. It won't let me enlarge my screen. Okay, I'll drag it. Mm -hmm. All right. Ground, that's a good idea. Instead of timestamp location stamp. All right, there we go. So I used Liquid Barnes Blue Raspberry at 4.75%. I used Real Flavors Blue Raz Taffy, uh, Super Concentrate at 1.5%. I used Flavora's Boysenberry for some depth at 0.25. Um, and then the cactus was added because the Flavor West Razzleberry is kind of dry and it needed more juiciness. So it was suggested that I add any cactus. Um, so I used Inaware Cactus at 0.2%. And then it was Paul's idea to add um, the Flavor Art Forest Fruit Mix at 0.75% mm, because it just brings all the berries together and balances them, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Um, for once, I do not have stevia in here. I want everybody to know that. There are enough high notes of sweetness in this recipe. It's not necessary. Um, I just used um, Nude Nicotine's Monk Fruit Extract at 0.1 because that's all the real sugar depth that it that it needed for my preferences. And then, of course, the Flavor West Razzleberry at 1.25. So there you have it. It came out to 8.8%. And to make it just a little bit smoother and not have to possibly add something to tame any edges, it was mixed at 75 VG, 25 PG. I love it. It was hard for me to wait for it to steep for the four days. And that was it. 
So, so you like, so you're happy with it. You love it. That's good. I w- I'm, I'm thinking in the future, I would like to try the taffy base. So it's a little bit more taffy forward, but for this particular recipe, this is actually working. Um, the other flavor that I'm looking forward to trying is Mullenberry Blue Drop Candy. You know, when you're when you're sharing that, if you go to the right corner of your of your screen and mm-hmm. pull down next to your name, yeah, other, other bookmarks and zoom in on your screen a little bit. Not on your name, but uh, those three little dots, yeah. And where it says 100% plus, because some people have all, can't see what you're. Is that better? Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, I'm just. That's how. Uh, I, yeah, that makes sense. Thank okay, you. Good. Oh, you're welcome. I just some people were like a bit larger image, so I thought instead of telling you to make it larger, I would tell you real quick because I didn't know if you knew that. Okay, cool. No, I didn't right. know what that was. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So hopefully that's a little better, Subby. Um, okay. I think that's who said it. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. You learn something new every day. That's every day. Every <laughs> day. I, I have to. Use that thumbs up. That was better. So yeah, that's because I do that or have done it a lot and shared things and like, oh, I can't see it, you know, and you don't realize it um, until afterwards. So I always um, try to go forward or. Sorry. Now. Anyway, so oh, okay. Or hold the control key and scroll your mouse. So now there's another trick. Are you serious? I gotta try this. So there's another trick. See, Simon. Um, um, actually, that one doesn't work on this particular computer, but maybe it's. See, I wouldn't be able to do that either. I, I had to. I would have to like finagle my other hand to hold it right. Right. I would have a mess. Anyway, so that was that's cool. Way. I like that. Hey, Michael way. Morris, how are you doing? And we have Steve out in the chat Hello. now. And who else am I missing? I think I called out um, everybody, but I saw Steve come in. And Jean Michael Steve. Morris. Hi, Michael. So I'm not sure if we're going to get greeted by the mystery man. Um, that we invited, but he and I this week, this was kind of fun, um, talking about Simon. We kind of had like, we challenged, well, I don't know, I guess it was a challenge um, where he was going to bed, wait, was it that how it worked? He was going to bed, I was waking up, or I was going to bed, one or the other. Anyway, we were like, Cause we're opposite. It's always like, <laughs> then we have this little bit of time in the day where we're, um, you know, kind of the same, you know, we're up at the same time, <laughs> but on different sides of the world. So we were like, let's mix up the same profile and then let's come together your morning, my night, vice versa. And let's see how they compare, how we, paired up with the recipes so it was very very interesting um would you put can you put are you, is your recipe sorry liana is your recipe public not yet shared okay so I'm, there's no link to share here i will make it public because i just finished the notes on it this morning oh, okay cool all right so she's about to make it share the link okay so i was just reading that um uh, so we did this, um, I guess, challenge to see how we would do the same profile. And we decided to do a mint chocolate pudding, if you will. Um, so it was so cool. It was my night when we met up again in his morning. Is that right? Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anyway, so... Anyway, we post our recipes and we look at them and I was like, holy cow. We both pretty much had the same percentages. We, our recipes were probably like 85% the same ingredients. I mean, there were some like subtle, like differences, but some of the main ingredients were the same. It was just absolutely wild, but we had so much fun. Um, Oh, I'm doing that. And I was like, that was really fun to do. And I encourage anybody, like if you, oh, are you not, what do you mean you're not wrenched? Who didn't wrench? What? 
Yeah. How did you not get rinsed before? That is like, anyway, you got to be able to bend things. You need a wrench. <laughs> so anyway, so I was going to share, maybe he's going to share his. I'm going to sh show the recipe that I did. Because I just, I still got to write the notes for it. Um, but I'm going to um, show show the recipe really quick and what I did. But it was a mint chocolate pudding. So, um, okay, here we go. So it was, I'm pulling up my share screen stuff now. That I gotta, here we go. Here. And, and I named mine. And I am not a minty lover. Let me put that that way. I do not like mint vapes. I do not like coolant vapes. But this one I am in love with. Absolutely love. Okay, here is the name of it. Grasshopper pie. I love that name. Yes, because apparently grasshopper <laughs> pie is a minty pie. I didn't know this. Okay. So I'm like, it's going to be a grasshopper pie. Um, and so anyway, it's creme de menthe is like the main like star of the show. And I am in love with this stuff. From Flavora. Oh, this stuff is like amazing. Do you realize okay, the irony? So, I have to say this. Do you realize the irony of what you've done, Tam? We're having a grasshopper swarm in Las Vegas. Oh, really? No. We've been under onslaught and it's starting to wane off for a week. So wow. very well, there you go. <laughs> So um, I use aged bourbon cream from Real Flavors. This is one of my favorite concentrates of them. And biscuit base, which is a really great biscuit for just a plain biscuit. Um, nothing real buttery to it. Nothing too fancy. Just a biscuit. But it's, oh, I can't, it's hard to describe um, kind of grainier than a regular in a wear biscuit. Um, so, and then vape train chocolate mousse to help with that chocolate and flavora creme de menthe. Oh my gosh, that stuff is just spot. Well, I would not say it's spot on creme de menthe, like if you wanted the actual drink, but for that nice mint flavor, that is like amazing. And then that little touch of vape train dark chocolate and then 1% of vape train love. And that's like that creamy white chocolate, almost, I wouldn't call it a pudding, but it's a creamier white chocolate. It's not white chocolate, but it's one of their, I don't want to call it a weird flavor, but just odd flavors. It just is what it is. It's a white chocolate that's creamy. Um, a thicker texture than just white chocolate. Um, and then, of course, vanilla pudding from Flavora. And it just, it tastes like a pudding that is those little, if you're in America, in the U.S., you get those after dinner mints called Andy's. Sorry. Oh, we broke something. Uh-oh. Called I Andy's my phone. Uh-oh. Is it Andy's candies we eat? I think that's it. Or, yeah. Anyway. It tastes like that, but creamier. Oh, I'm just like in love with it. So anyway, it's grasshopper pie. But I need to write more notes. Like what I just told you about it, I need to put in writing to put in the recipe. So as soon as I do that, I'll make it public. So right now it's not. So that's it. Are you okay? Did you break anything? No, it has a silicone cover. I drop it all the time. But I'm experiencing a little issue, and maybe you can help me learn how to do this easier. I have to run YouTube on my phone so I can interact with the chat, and I don't get choppy um, by running two things on this little PC. So they want me to put the recipe link forward. And so I actually tried typing the short URL into the chat, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't go. So do I have to use the big long uh the big long uh link at the top of my computer's page do i have to write that one out because it was that doesn't work with a short url on youtube chat so that's my question 
Is um, that I did what you just gave me. Yes, that was the short one. But if I have to use the long one, you guys, please help the noob understand this technology. I'm not used to posting links. You're telling me that didn't work. Not the short URL, the HTTP, the one at the bottom of the recipe. But I didn't use the one at the top where it starts out with e. Okay, it worked for me. It worked. I don't know. I, let me let me post it in the chat, and that way you're done. I have a wrench and everything, but I want to learn how to do it for myself. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I gotta do these things. Um, I gotta grow up. <laughs> oh, link is up there for me. Up where? Oh, for his recipe. Um. From Simon. Yeah, Simon's saying that his the link for his his recipe of your the ones that you were working on is up there. But um Oh, to make a matchmaker. Those but, minty chocolates you get it. Oh, I love I, I had no idea I would love minty chocolate. But I do love them after dinner, like when I go eat Italian and they give you the free little mints. I do love those chocolate mints, and this is what it tastes like me and I love it but I didn't know I would like it in a vape because I don't like chocolate vapes and I don't like minty vapes but these together I absolutely love so that would be really good sub vapes so sub vapes wanted my recipe published in the chat so to um you can do the whole link that's the easiest way to do it off your phone because if you do this short link you have to select all. Well, never mind. On an Android, it's easier than on a on an Apple. You said it. I'll pull up. I'll pull it up on here, and I'll use the open it in Chrome, and I'll use the long link. Thank you very much. Okay. It'll take a minute. Okay, you just have to play. You'll get it. It's I will. All in good time. Thank yes. you. Okay. Let me see. Here we go. So let me show. Let me show Simon's recipe. And his was really lovely too. I actually need to mix his, um, but I haven't got to that yet. So I apologize. I won't get to, oh, his is called Magnificent, what the frick. <laughs> oh, I gotta see oh, this. I gotta share this because this- he's I'm missing this. one ingredient on yours. I'm missing the first ingredient, but oh, I'll order it. You will be missing an ingredient on his for sure, I know. Um, because he has medicine flower dark, dark chocolate instead of um instead of um vape trains dark chocolate. I'll get my hands on these things. If it's if it's yes. are they if they're okay, that good. The picture on this is just magnificent. Um I have to throw that out there. Okay. Just because you're different doesn't mean you're not beautiful. Now go out there and shine and you magnificent what the fuck. So that's why he called it magnificent what the fuck. Okay. So I love you, Simon. I know. <laughs> so this, you know, a whole thing was inspired from a pudding his mother used to make when he was a child, a mint pudding. Um so unfortunately, I don't, I don't, I don't try it because he is, was in Australia. And anyway, long story. I'm in America, and but I want to have cement pudding now, um, or grasshopper pudding, whatever you call it. Um, so if you look here, we have aged bourbon cream, we have chocolate mousse, we have creme de menthe, and biscuit. But I have the other biscuit. He has jumble flavor, but. The percentages are like, well, I mean, like, it's just, um, it, we were like freaked out, like how close we were in our recipes. Um, his is, um, a little bit different. He put the, and here we go again, absinthe. You did very good. I did, didn't I? Um, absinthe, absinthe from absinthe. decadent flavors. And this stuff is absolutely, and I, when I first got it, I was, I just got it this week. And that's kind of how we got on this conversation because I got some new flavors. Um, it's green. 
Um, I don't know if you can tell from my picture. No, you really can't. But it's green. It's a green flavor. Um, and the smell of it, though, when I first smelled it, I'm like, no. Because it reminded me of a black licorice. But it's not when you taste it. It tastes delightful. It tastes really, really good. Um, so if you, have, if you can get your hands on absinthe, Abstinent? Abstinent? It's two Absinthe. syllables. Absent. Absent. If you can get your hands on decadent flavors, absent. It is one of the best absence. Absent on the market. Um, I have been told by many different mixers. I'm in um, my Omi um, Nick, Nick Evans. And many other people have recommended this flavor. Um, so definitely, it's worth a go to, to try to get this. And of course, chefs, I believe they're still having their sell um, until tonight. Um, so I think you can get 20% off. Um, so again, he has the AIDS bourbon cream, which it just goes with anything. I don't know if much does it go with, because it's just such a great flavor. It's like a creamy bourbon. It's I can't explain it much more than that. It's just a bourbon that's an age, like if you can envision, you know, an oak, oak aged bourbon. And it's got a cream to it. So it goes great in bakeries. It goes great in drinks. Um, I need that in my life. Yeah, you I, need it. I have to have that because now that, that's up my must have. Sub Vapes is asking about different subs for the recipe. And another one of those ones that you really love to pronounce, and I love to pronounce chocolate Deutsch. And uh, oh, chocolate Deutsch. Oh. Yes. So different different subs. Um, smooth chocolates, deeper, 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 richer chocolates. I don't know. Whatever you have, whatever you can suggest, Simon. Oh, but chocolate mousse we know is lovely. Creme de mint. Oh, that that to me is just the I, I know I have flavor West, but I have to try it compared to from the mint. But I can't envision that it would be better than that. that is just lovely. And I do have the dark chocolate medicine flower, but I have not tried it yet. So I do need to get on the bandwagon. And he made it a little bit more minty than mine. So he has Papa Chigley jumped in the chat. Awesome. Papa Chigley. How you doing? Okay. Oh, see, look at me. I, I'm like completely like, oh yeah, I'm sharing. I need to stop sharing. Okay. So that was, <laughs> that was, um, that was his version of the cream, minty cream pie, chocolate cream pie. And so you saw mine. So there we go. But we were very close, but yet different at the same time. We had our own little twists and spins on them. Thank you, Simon. So what, what other what other chocolates would you suggest that could be subbed if we don't have medicine flour, Simon? Um, yeah, Mark, Mark, if you have. Mark wants to know if we're, you're, you're sharing your two recipes. I think one of them's already up there. I would say the only other dark chocolate that I like that I own. Um, I like I said I have not tried the the medicine flower out there, but VTA dark chocolate is one of the the best okay. ones. That's what he said. That's okay. readily available for everyone to get. That would be my suggestion. Is medicine flower isn't that the line that's so expensive but so good? Yes. Like. Like it's much more expensive than say 20, Alpine strawberry investment. Yeah. It's $22 a 15 mil. So Is that's it worth it? Are, they, are they high concentrations or do you have to use as much as everyone else's? Most of them are very high concentrate. Yes. So okay. yes, it, it's, it's, it's yeah, worth it. Would you but say that or I would go buy, I would go search the forums in um, ELR and, and get to talk to people who's used them. 
to find Would you, the better ones. Of course, but I'm asking because I'm asking from a new perspective, all the questions that people normally ask in the chat. So they don't even need to ask, you know, right, about I understand, yes. I'm in the learning phase for, mm, let's see, college is four years before I know what the heck I'm really doing. Like you guys do. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Um, I'm going to put VT dark chocolate on my list along with the other bourbon flavor. But as far as medicine flower, would you say there are as on average, as concentrated as um, Plavora's Alpine strawberry or more of the concentration levels of like most Flavora flavors? How would you compare it in concentration levels? Like as far I would as probably say, yeah, Alpine. And some right. of them are even more along the line of um, rich cinnamon, which is even more, to my, in my opinion, rich cinnamon is more concentrated than an alpine strawberry okay well yeah that's what i um, want to know because if it's 22 dollars, but it is as you know most of them are as concentrated as that and it's a good yeah, flavor wrong that's simon joel it. simon does not get royalties from rape train i'm sorry liana i didn't mean to cut you off it's okay that's an investment that i wouldn't mind making yes if it's something that i'm going to use a lot it's 22 dollars and it's really concentrated of course it's worth right. it because Alpine was worth it. I used it at point one and I was like, that was great. You know, I mixed it, yeah. I mixed some Alpine with um, VSO strawberry in a mix. And oh my gosh, you mm -hmm. talk about some fresh, awesome flavor that stood up to the cream in that recipe. And it, it was just nice. And I don't dilute anything, by the way, you guys. I'm just extremely careful with my little drops. <laughs> okay, I have. Mark Senior's recipe, where did I put it? Okay, um, I just had it up. That's not that, um, not that. This, this is it, yes, 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 okay. Let me show Mark's that he, he shared. And I remember when he did this too, and I was like, okay, Crindament, I'm not, that's not my thing. But you know what, it is my thing, so you know, Never say something's not your thing till you try it. Sometimes your palate just your your palate just evolves and changes to yeah. appreciate flavors that didn't appeal to you before. That's kind of how I was with yeah. pastries and caramels because I'd walk into a vape shop when I was still buying commercial vapes, and they'd all be vaping like some caramel thing that tasted awesome to them, and I felt nauseous from uh, from the overpowering uh, sweetness that was just hanging in the air. And I thought, oh, that's something I won't like. And so I forced myself to make a recipe, not only that had a bakery in it, but I made the sticky Brit, which had butterscotch and caramel. And I realized this is pretty good. It's actually better yeah. than commercial. It wasn't overpowering and my palate just changed. Oh, I'm so yeah, glad. Yeah, they, they do. Um, so, okay. This is really interesting because here we go. We got some Australian chocolate, one of my favorites too, Hankson. And we have some bourbon, um, vape train bourbon, which is one of a good bourbon. Um, and again, with the chocolate mousse, you can't go wrong with vape train chocolate mousse. And Mark Senior's signature um, flavor, coconut custard super concentrate, wonder flavors. And I have that. Yeah. And creme de mint flavora, um, he went a lot bolder than I did because I'm a scaredy cat um, with mint. So I was like, okay, I'm playing it safe. Um, but he's got a lot more to back it up than what I did. So he could go a little bit stronger with it. Um, but yeah, I wish that, that was my first time using it. So I was like, I don't know. I'm just using it at, this, at a lower point. But this looks really good. And we have one-on-one -on -one sweet cream and TFA white chocolate. It looks really, really good. Um, so this looks like a regular peppermint patty. But it's creme de cocoa de mint. Okay, cool. I like it. All right, stop share. I can't reach out while I'm going. It looks good. All these recipes look good. Can you please tell me it was aged vanilla bourbon was that the flavor aged bourbon it? cream aged bourbon cream okay 
I'm just ma- putting on my list. Just go ABC. What's up? Oh, what happened? What happened? I don't know. That makes, that makes me nervous. Uh-oh. Nothing Let's happened. Listen. Uh-oh. I'm like, uh-oh, did something happen? Is my stream bad? Um, we look like we're moving. Oh, his oh, net is that work? I was like, you scared me. Oh no! But <laughs> if you go direct and ask for samples, they will send you some cute. Oh, samples! I like samples. That sounds good. But you know what? I'm an investor. You guys tell me what flavors are good, and I'm gonna do that. This that is one good. right here, a little bitty. Look at this little bitty sample. Well, you said that oh, average. That's a real flavor, not a, oh gosh, my brain's in the wrong place. Uh, medicine flower right here. I so guess it's cute. Well, Simon said the average usage was 0. 0.5 to 0.7%. So yeah. I'm going to get a lot out of a 15 mil. Yeah, this is a 3.7 mil sample right here. Yeah. That's and I have to thank um, the dog of vapes for sending me some of these little samples. So Aw. Yeah, he was, that was really cool of him. Do we oh. have a medicine flower rep person that I need to be familiar with? No. Just really? Uh, no, but they have medicine flower at um at um e No, no at Nicotine River. I saw that. Do you ever? Do they ever? I never see them like as sponsors for any of the YouTube shows. Uh, maybe I'm not paying attention. I think I've seen them on one. I think I've seen. Uh, them they don't engage with vape. He's saying. Really? Yeah. That's too bad. But I can understand it. But if they're natural extracts, they have oh, nothing to worry about. Oh, this. Where? Oh, I don't trust Amazon to buy. Uh, I don't I trust actually Amazon because they don't store things correctly. I'm sorry. Hot warehouse, good flavor, not going to happen for me. No, I'm sorry. They, it's not coming directly from Amazon. It's coming from a store that um, sells. Through often. them? Yeah, because mm. I bought some from them. My own. He said it's, he said it's direct from Medicine Flower. Okay, through Amazon. All right. That's a that's okay. Is it are the prices better? Kind ground. No. There's the same consistent retail. All right. And where are they manufactured? Good question. Um. See, I ask all the chat questions that normally I'm typing. This is why it's such a privilege to be on such a show. This is class for me. Oh, North America? No, oh, Joel. Hey, North America. <laughs> no, does Joel know? I don't know. Well, that's what he said. They won't send samples with Amazon. They are USA. That's what Simon says. Yeah, if you buy from Amazon, you will not get samples. Yeah, yeah I know. Oregon, Oregon, USA. I lived in Oregon for about a year. Yeah, that's I just looked at the bottle. I started smoking pot there when I was 13. <laughs> now you know. America. It's from America. America. <laughs> Things you didn't know, now you do know. It'll be on a trivia question one day. And what town, state, did Liana start smoking pot? <laughs> what city? This is quiz later. What city? <laughs> what city? Yes, there we go. At what age? And how much did she eat <laughs> of her? Neighbors, moms, look, we went through, I think it was almost an entire loaf of bread, just making toast. And her, and she was my friend, she was 16. And then she, her mom came home and she was a very short, very large lady. And her old man was this little tiny tweaky person, right? Mm -hmm. And so she came home and just flipped out and said, Where's all the bread? And I just ran home. I was like, I just ran to the ran next door. And she was so mad that we ate all the bread, just buttered toast. And it was like the 
best munchie experience to date was your first munchie experience and all the things that you wanted to eat. And oh my gosh, bread toast was never so good. <laughs> it was awesome. Nicotine carries it. It's a one dollar markup. Okay, but if they have one of their one-off sales that they never announce until the day of, and it's like twenty percent off, it wouldn't be a bad deal. I'm going to give Paul a hard time because he said he was going to be hanging around uh, in the meantime. I know he's doing a lot of meetings today. Mm -hmm. Is Monday for him? But yeah, I'm going to give him a hard time. It's he hasn't showed up in the chat yet. No, it's okay. You might towards the end. I have my favorite professors, though. I really do. The nutty professors. Uh, they really are. You guys are awesome. Like, I do have my favorite professors. Any time I can possibly get into Zoom that I have spare time, I just, I just brain suck all this knowledge. And I take notes. <laughs> my little book. <laughs> he said it's also too early for Paul. I don't think so. He's got a lot of meetings today. I don't I don't know. It's not quite too early for Paul today. Besides, he agreed to be a guest and we'll probably have him on in a couple weeks. Then he can freely right. talk about all the things that Mullenberry is doing because everything will be settled and decided and that's just like so exciting. Yes. The yeah, sparrows have be... not yet begun to fart. What's that? What? He said the sparrows have not yet begun to fart. Oh. Uh, okay. <coughs> so do you guys remember last week I tried to make a chocolate ground. Do you remember I tried to make a chocolate mint fudge last week? Yeah, I'm still is that where you were going to talk? Are you still, oh, you're still waiting on something. I'm waiting on the white chocolate. So I don't want to post a recipe yet. I am waiting on the white chocolate, but I am going to, um, I'm going to vape it without it and just see what it's like, because it has steeped out. Mm -hmm. Bye, kind brown. He's going to fix his internet. <laughs> which means he's got to reboot everything yeah. that does not seem fun all right so this is it my chef how you doing he's Hi, gonna chef. um he's gonna um all i need is just a record go ahead and do what you're doing okay uh, go I'm ahead telling, yeah i'm just telling him all i need from him is just mary had a little lamb that's all I need. That that right there. Um, Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Just record it. And I can play it at night as a bedtime story. And I'll fall fast asleep. And I will sleep all night and be so calm. And that's all I need you to do. That would be the you, perfect bedtime story. You need a recorded <laughs> lullaby? Yeah, it's from him. Do you know how calming and soothing that would be with his voice? Can what? you sing? Do you, want to, do you want him to sing it? Or no, do you he want can just speak to it. He can just say it. Mary had, I can't even do his accent. But imagine his accent saying that. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to picture Nachif. Trying to <laughs> softly say an American, an extremely American lullaby. Or did it come from Europe originally? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care what he says. Just say something soft and yeah. we need a sound clip Nacho. just some soothing <laughs> stuff and you know what don't say it in english say it in your oh. language because then it won't make a squirrel pop up in her head <laughs> while she's trying to sleep and she can like focus so just speak softly <laughs> to her in spanish just say some soft stuff you know it could be totally cheesy it doesn't and, matter i love it I and just then I need to hear the it. other day. I was just like, wouldn't that be just the I think he could even sell it. He can even sell it online and make some money. You know what? Not to flavor money. You know what, right not chef? Absolutely. We not can, just voice yeah. clips. Dude. Yes, we, he could sell that stuff. He really could. Are we pimping Nachif? 
We're pimping nachos. That is like just it. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nachos says, we do it together when you mix with us and developed. You know? Let me know when. Th this is this is this is sweet. Like Joel, through the through the process of hydration, concrete gets harder as it gets older. Swoon. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. I absolutely love this community. <laughs> I can't even get in the mixing mood until I've got some company, some YouTube running, yeah, something know, like right? that. And I just get inspired and I laugh. And I haven't laughed this hard in so long. Just from day one. From that whole after the fundraiser, that party oh, had me thank you, so hard. Thank I had to mute. <laughs> that makes me feel so good that I want your voice and you want me on there to mix. <laughs> okay. You're speaking of Tam, though, correct? It says, Grandma's in charge. We told him that we want you in our show. You're speaking of Tam, right? Because there are two of us here. It was fun, Leah. It what? was fun. I, was... I want to know who he's wants he, that he wants on a show. I hope that he's talking about you, because I would just freak out. Oh yeah, well they were. Um, Graham mentioned it in the in his, in the show on um, when I was in chat there on. Okay. Thursday. The chef goes ASMR. That's funny. New question. New question. Falcon King tank. Chocolates are supposed to be vaped at lower wattage. However, with the M2 coils in a Falcon King tank, your range is only between 70 watts and 80 watts. What do you do? Other than vape it on something else, like my recurve here. Um, if you want to vape a chocolate without it burning up, into the coils and such things, your average chocolate recipe. And you've got a coil that's best between 70 and 80. Do you go ahead and drop your wattage and not have it vape correctly? Or do you just use um, a different one? I would use a different tanker. I wouldn't use that in that. I would use a different tanker. Oh Is my God. Who, why do we need white chocolate in this? Maybe you don't. I don't know. I made a fudge. Oh my gosh, that's it. <laughs> okay. She made a fudge. I actually made that a fudge. Like a okay. That said I made a puma. <laughs> this does not need white chocolate, you guys. I'm going to make this public because. It has the real fudge flavor. It has everything. You don't need white chocolate in here. I mean, I can well, still can, add. Can oh you my show gosh. it to us and let's see what let's see what it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe I, I will. haven't got what I said. I knew. <laughs> okay. All right. Let let me pull it up. Now I'm actually excited. I made a chocolate. I'm gonna have to make our own folder of things created on the Omets. Mm-hmm. You guys helped me make a chocolate mint fudge. Oh, that's it. Fudge. It's on. Okay, and I'm vaping this on a recurve on some uh, 980 um, Alien One Clapton. Everybody at, wants to see the recipe. I'm going to show you the recipe at 54.5 watts, and it's awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm having a mouth gasm. This is not oh, overly, she's having a moment. I'm having a moment. It's not overly chocolate. So it legitimately tastes like fudge. And it 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 really does. It's not so overly chocolate that it's gonna choke you. Uh-huh. And it's not overly minty either. Same oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, let me fix this. Do, 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 do. All right. We should have music playing while we're doing the let's find share. I'm telling you, we're going to have so much fancy stuff on here, guys. We have big plans for this. Okay. 
I need to get oh, this. Oh, well, this is true. At least it doesn't taste like ass. Here's I need to get. Here. I need to get this thing to disappear. This little. How do you get that um, top thing to go away? Don't worry about that. What? what well, you I can't do? enlarge my screen unless it lets me. I don't want to drag it. Okay. But I need you to go to the three dot you are. Good for you. Good I did. I'm going. I'm doing it. Do you want it bigger than that? One more. Very good. All right. I think people can be able to. Chocolate mint fudge. My first use of uh, Hankson Australian chocolate um, at 1%. Flavora's chocolate Deutsch at 1%. Um, VT's chocolate mousse, which I uh, wasn't that, was that your idea or Simon's idea? I can't remember at 1.5%. And I had to try this, um, cupcake world clotted cream fudge because the only size I could buy was, um, the was, was this size. And so I'm like, I need to find something to use that much stuff in. And I used that at 3.5%. Um, I don't have Flavora Cream de Mint yet, but I did have Flavor West and I used that at 0.5%. And then I used VT uh, Devon Cream at 1.25%. And I have the Flavora White Chocolate down there, but it was not added because I don't own it. So I'm gonna edit this recipe and I'm gonna take that out because you know what? It's good, just the way it is. It's creamy, it's smooth. In fact, the actual the actual chocolate Deutsch could be a little bit more, but this is your standard chocolate fudge, not a dark one, just a normal. Probably because fudge. the Devon cream, I mean, it's got a chocolate note, but because it is from, wait. It's not a real chocolate chocolate. That's probably why the white chocolate isn't, you don't need it. I would, I would raise the Flavora chocolate Deutsch by about 0.1 or 0.2. That's me, but I'm going to leave it just this way because it tastes good and it's not overpowering. Um, I do know that the Devon cream helps a little bit, but at 1.25, I don't know how it's going to help that much. But I'm going to take out the white chocolate. I'll make some, I, I don't have to make some notes on it. I'll just make a little simple commentary that it was uh, created on our show and commentary will follow later. That way everybody can enjoy it if they want to. Deal? No, no, I don't have a coconut. Give it a little, what grows for you? What are we talking about grows? Give it a little time. Oh, this this is steeped out. We made this a week ago. This is my first vape. One week. I really don't pick it up, not just the any coconut from from the Deutsch. And you're right. Maybe I should leave it right there at one percent so I don't pick that up. Good point. Uh -huh. it, it, if you want to think of it as chocolate, but when I pick up a piece of fudge. A chocolate mint fudge. It's just basic, smooth chocolate mint fudge. And you put a couple drops of mint into that whole recipe. And you cut it up in those delightful little squares. And you eat it until you're just disgusted with yourself. But you can't stop. That's what it's like. If I wanted to make it a darker chocolate, I will try that with the VT dark chocolate. And uh, this recipe, the base... This is awesome. I could take out the mint and throw walnuts in this. Like, I'm excited. So you really don't get any coconut from the chocolate Deutsch? Not me, but I'm not vaping on stainless steel. So I haven't vaped on stainless steel coils yet. I have some. It's just that these last forever and I'm not going to change it out. Um, you might be able to on stainless. This is, that's when people tell me they really pick up all those fine little tiny nuances they can't taste uh -huh. elsewhere is on the stainless steel. But no. This, I was going to say, I didn't see that show. 
Oh, you, you must didn't watch have done it? it. The one on mint and chocolate? Oh, no. I wasn't talking about that. Oh, so you're saying the mint is stopping the... <laughs> well, it could... I don't remember what percentage you use the chocolate to it. So. Hi, Graham. Hi, friend. I didn't, I didn't scroll down in the chat. I didn't realize people were to say anything. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, Graham. Good to see you. Um, I would agree, Simon. So it could be um, that that's what's happening. I, I don't use it. I, I pick it up whenever I vape it. But a lot of times, depending on how it's used, you don't notice it as much because it's a good... Oh, let me explain it right. A good flavor separator that's not even a good word a good description flavor separator but this is just one flavor we're doing so but sometimes like if you're doing a cake and icing chocolate dutch can help at a lower percentage like help that coconut will help separate the cake from the icing a little bit i have found um but I don't know in the, in with the, just a regular fudge. Maybe it's separating the chocolate from the mint. Who knows? The mouthfeel is so good. And when you hold that vape. Could be just helping under, you with your mouthfeel too. It, when you hold that vape in your mouth, you get the, all the butteriness of fudge. All right. And when you oh, exhale, when you exhale is when you get the mint. It's just not overpowering. It's not mm, mint. It's mm -hmm. on the exhale. Um, and the chocolate, the chocolate and the mouthfeel and the betteriness is all right there. Yes, we are in sync, Nachif. It's just we with these great big minds of ours and we start thinking things, right? It just kind of goes out in the universe and that's how we were inspired. I did it on a whim on Sunday because I didn't know what we were going to do. We were just like, so hanging loose. <laughs> we're the not first show was a hot mess, but we're like on the way to being organized now. And I'm like, Hey, just let me make this. And everybody pitched in and helped me. So it's just, mm -hmm. it's just, yummy. it's just yummy. Good. Yeah, well, nice. That's really cool because that we all did this like creme de menthe, like this week, me and, Simon did that and then you had done it and it's cool that and then there did what is it is it like in the air that's that's what Nacho says um I'm wondering okay so if I wanted to increase the chocolate and I he said he's stealing ideas and I, I if I wanted to add just a little bit more chocolate do you believe that the mullenberry Glamour chocolate would be an appropriate in a small percentage. If I wanted the chocolate to come into my mouth a little bit more, to come in and not just be present and in, in the mouth and then exhale, but the in the intake. Does that make sense? Um, noob, noob descriptions gotta crack you guys up. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny, Graham. It is very funny how that stuff happens. And I do have a theory, but I will talk about that later. But anyway, yes, um, glamour chocolate a little bit would be nice. Um, at what percentage would you suggest it? Here's your friend, Paul, LabWorks. Chocolate mint cookie ice cream. Is that a flavor? Or is that <laughs> a suggestion? Where, 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 did, where did Paul come in? Let me... Okay, Paul, this is smooth. Chocolate mint fudge. I gotta share this darn recipe so Paul can see it. Let me get this. Whoa, I went out of focus. Let me edit out and so yes, that you can. Those, Graham. I don't want any texture in here. So if there's cookie in that that's actually got some texture, then I don't want it. Why are you done, Graham? He's being funny, I think. Don't be done. Don't ever be done. My my chat feed isn't like automatically going up on my phone it's irritating yeah the phone doesn't do that good mm. i could just like vape this and vape this and vape this ah oh, i love it 
All right, I'm getting rid of the Laura White chocolate. It's just not necessary. It's not necessary at all. I want to add a little bit more but, chocolate, but I don't want it to be overpowering. One thing, one thing that I was talking about with Simon to add chocolate to ours that we said would be a good idea. And I don't know if you have it, and you probably don't. But if you don't, you need it. Um, it's Cookie Bite from Mulberry because it has that chocolate note, like the um, Glamour chocolate. But it also has a little bit of that texture. Um, I don't want texture. I want silky. I want oh, that. Want I want all fat. When I make a recipe profile after a food, I look for authenticity. I want to pick up the piece of fudge. The only texture I could I should find fudge is if somebody biffed up and didn't cook their sugar correctly to the right temperature. Or if you make the Cheater Easy chocolate with the marshmallow stuff, a fantasy fudge, it should be smooth. It should go in your mouth. It should mm -hmm. feel silky. You should taste the chocolate. You should taste the butter. You should taste, in that case, would be marshmallow cream. And then the mint. You breathe out the mint. I don't know if that makes sense. But I want authenticity. I do not want texture in my fudge unless I throw walnuts in there or I make a rocky road fudge a little bit darker and I want nuts and marshmallows. This is that texture right now. So I'm thinking if I do add any more chocolate, it would be Mullenberry Glamour chocolate because I don't want to jack up my texture. Paul will tell me, trust me, he's going to get on here and he's going to say, do this. But I got to fix it first. Okay, it's now public. Um, it just says chocolate mint fudge. There is no commentary on it. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put it in the chat because um, Tam can do things a lot faster than me. There you go. Okay. You, and then, oh, that was a bad thing. Okay. You're kind of, um, your internet's kind of freezing you up a little bit. I don't know if, I don't think it's mine, yeah. but, um, yeah, okay, you know this. It's me. Liana's it's recipe. It's my computer CPU. It, it can't oh, process. okay. It can't process this a lot of things. Worth. Oh, never mind. I get it. I'm a little slow. I got it. I got it. Wait, did it go? I can't see it. I mean, like, I have to cough. Let me mute. Yeah, I've never been a chocolate fan, but there's a lot of good ones out now that really I enjoy. Mrs. Shillingsworth, Graham, I'm going to get you. Actually, I'm going to expand my my shillage. Believe that. It's going to be expanding. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to turn down my water to He says most of them burn. VTA chocolate clear. I'm going to put it at 50. I might, it's just good. I just cough in the morning. I probably need a drink of water. In the mm -hmm. morning? Is it morning for you? I slept in, I was lazy, and I didn't go to church. And oh, that's, that's why my hair was right? kind of crazy. Um, he said VTA chocolate clear. My main professor. Let me see if I have it, sir. <laughs> no, I think it's on the, I have VT's chocolate base. Is that what you're speaking? That's clear. Chocolate base, Paul? <clears throat> if you like everything, no one will trust you. If you like everything, no one will trust what you don't. You'll have people vaping the triumphant return 
of Holy Vanilla version 27. <laughs> I don't like everything. I did not like Holy Vanilla V2. It was like mediocre. I wouldn't waste my time on it. And I was honest. Yeah, there's many so different templates. Yeah. I don't like everything. Um, I'm very clear on that. Come on, Graham. You know I'm opinionated. But I just said I might expand my shillage. And then if the shillage is earned, the shillage it shall it shall receive. <clears throat> so there. He says there are four different chocolates. There's a chocolate base, a chocolate clear, a chocolate. I have a chocolate base clear. I do not have each yes. chocolate. Okay, well, so are you suggesting? Can you can you can you let me publish? Let me put this recipe up. Hang on. In the chat, so you guys can look at it. I said if I wanted to add just a little bit more chocolate without in increasing the chocolate Deutsch. That's the question, Paul. So let me, I made it public. It has no commentary. <clears throat> I'm opening it in Chrome. That did not work. Okay, let me go try this again. So what's in the mix in the future, guys, is Leanna's gonna get a much larger computer with a big giant screen and it's going to process OBS and it's going to process everything and all this stuff will no longer be a problem. We'll have a whole new realm of, of uh, technical issues. Whole new realm <laughs> of technical issues. Graham says, I will sell out very quickly. My opinions can't be bought. Okay, I posted a recipe right there. I just posted it too. Okay, good. Well, it's there twice now. Well, I had to do it on my phone, you guys. And I was I was really stuck in the amazement. Okay, now Chef is is very like <laughs> sure if you add half a percent of super sweet, that chocolate will pop. Don't add more I didn't chocolate. add any sweetener. Yes, I did not add any sweetener. And you guys are asking me to put in sucralose, not just this is Leanna. Leanna, don't do sucralose. You could put it in, <clears throat> but Leanna, don't do sucralose. Um, and I so would what not. So what if you try your I would, not, egg? I would not stick stevia in there. Um, I could possibly bring out natural sweetness with some ethyl maltol. I could possibly add some monk fruit because it won't disturb the flavor at a very low percentage. I have options, and I want to try mullenberries. Mullenberry's sweetener blend because Paul told me there's no sucralose in it. I want to try it. But I'm going to take this recipe back down and finish tweaking it. I just made it public so everybody could see it. But yes, <clears throat> I will not add more chocolate then. Let's see how many more votes for no more chocolate. Um, I would have to taste it, but I don't see that you need anymore really but i'm enjoying it just the way it is and for, and i'm a sweet tooth mm -hmm. it's good <clears throat> not just like trust me <laughs> thank you for the respect because i respect if everybody I, let me just tell you if if i heard him say that trust me i i would just be like yes absolutely <laughs> just envision him saying that trust me in that voice you would be like yes whatever you say you know <laughs> I like seeing you stuck on this thought than worried about when you're going to take your husband to work. He's not because my husband, but yes. Still stuck on that. That's still in her head. <clears throat> we need to have, so when is Nachif going to be a guest? Yeah, you just have to wear a dress. That's all. No. Wear lip gloss. Nachif, do you have a pink shirt or, you know, anything like that? He can also do the other things. <laughs> with the little makeup and then talking that voice. I don't know. We just really can't distort him. <clears throat> Maybe we could monk have him on. Fruit, that's funny, Grim. Yeah, when I think of monk fruit, I think of, yeah, the identity. <laughs> I think of monk, right. yeah. 
Let's talk about Leanna's reasoning. <clears throat> Artificial sweeteners, when you digest them, okay, they attract moisture, plus your body doesn't know how to break it down, all right? And when your body doesn't know how to break something down, it just sits in your digestive tract and does crazy things. And that's why a lot of times when people have too much of an artificial sweetener, they get the runs and stuff like that because the moisture is attracted to it. Uh, so like if you swallow, that, yeah, like sugar-free. Take that um, same concept. Candy. I am now putting an artificial sweetener in my lungs where it attracts moisture. I'm really sensitive. I feel the wet lung on top of it i i have read the possibilities of breakdowns at, at higher temperatures all right <clears throat> both monk fruit and stevia have extremely high burn point burn points so it's never going to gunk up a coil plus i'm not going to get that wet lung feeling it's just not artificial to me sucralose is magnificent for a vaping in the vaping community because it is the MSG of recipes. It'll make anything taste good. We all know that. But right. I don't like it. Now, if you want to compare the two different sweeteners, what pure monk fruit does, not things you buy in the store, not things that have cutters. For God's sakes, don't buy something off your shelf and say, I'm going to go put such and such in my vape. There are fills. They are not the same. But when you get pure monk fruit, it is two to 300 times sweeter than sugar. So it takes a minuscule amount. And it is, monk fruit is the true sugar sweet. Not sweet lips, but a true sugar sweet. That's what it is, all right? Now stevia, on the other hand, you can have issues with stevia. Pure stevia provides the high note of sweetness. Mm, the sweet taste on your lip from your drip tip that we often enjoy. So in the balance, usually a two to one ratio of monk fruit to stevia, if necessary, you're good. Now in a couple of recipes, I biffed and was corrected and tried to use equal, equal parts. And I suffered with it in front of everybody being judged on mix and vixens because they tasted the note of the stevia. So that will never be done again. It'll be two to one or no stevia, depending on the natural flavors of what I'm using and the, the, the ingredients of the recipe it's not necessary, like the blue chew I just put out. I'm learning, but never more than two to one. I'm talking one drop of monk fruit per 30 mil usually is the average that I'll ever put in there. Never, I've never, I don't think I've ever used it over 0 0.2, 0 0.25 is extreme. It doesn't take much. Don't worry about what it's called. If you don't try it, you can't really knock it, but if you try it and then you, and then you saw that wasn't for me or you used too much, you're not going to get sweet lips out of it. Don't try. And Don't if go you knock try. it, just keep knocking it, right? Knock it. That's your choice, but try it before you knock. So nude nicotine sells these nice itty bitty little tiny bottles. Okay. It's a controlled percentage. I don't mix my own. I tried that. That was scary. Um, also, it's not going to stay as stable. I refill these. This is stevia. Little tiny, little itty bitty tiny bottle. The refills are in the cabinet. So if I want sweet lips in a recipe, I'll put a little bit of stevia in there, but it's going to be half the percentage of monk fruit. This is my style. You know, it's, just, it's something I feel passionate about. Um, and that's it. Which, what monk fruit lady is talking about? <laughs> Nude nicotine. That's where I get my monk fruit and stevia. They're pure, they're unadulterated, they're already listed. Um, I know there's other things. <laughs> Leanna's pudding. I'm saying he's killing me. But yeah, it's good. Agave yes, nectar. Have you tried it all. Agave nectar? Agave nectar has real, like, I don't know about the sugar molecules in that one, but no, I have not put that in a vape, but have I eaten with it? Yes. I put it in tea and things like that, and it's good. I like to use something as affordable as possible, too. <clears throat> a little bit of stevia goes a long way, and that's what I drink in my tea. That's why I couldn't taste it in the grape aid recipe that everybody else could taste. I was blind to it. So I had to, I was happy to be judged and happy to be told that. No, 
No, no, I will not shrill erythritol. Yeah, Graham. Nah, he's picking on me. I'm gonna get him. I know where you live, bud. I know where you live. <laughs> you need therapy. Oh my gosh. Well, all I can say, I don't really, I don't have this issue. I don't use a lot of sweetener. So, and if I do, it's so minute to compare to what I vape. I just don't stress over it. I just don't. I like that recipe unsweetened. Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. I, I like most of mine unsweetened, so I don't really. Use. And most of the most of the the mixtures I look up to, actually prefer that you know they don't that they don't like to sweeten unless they absolutely have to. Right. I think Paul's going back to sleep, or either he's dismayed. I don't know. It's okay. No, he's there. Lab work. Yeah. He's doing, he's I know. Doing but do you see his little faces? He's like, because I bored him. I don't care. Yeah, enough with the sweetener shit. And you guys didn't think I had an opinion? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so don't get her on the, on the soapbox. You know what happened? Don't. Get on the soapbox. You know what happened? This is what happened, you guys. You You brought this yourself. This is what happened. Wait. Oh my Wait. gosh. And, and now, really? <laughs> See, okay, there you go. That's what the freaking white chocolate was for, Liana. Right there. You used white chocolate to sweeten. That's what it was for in your recipe. That's why you were recommended to get that, was to sweeten it. It's really sweet? Yeah. See? Okay. Do you see the squirrel? Yeah, I see the squirrel. I'm not, I'm not I took that picture myself in Zion. Okay. Sweetener squirrel from Leanna. So he uses white chocolate to sweeten. That is why you had it in the recipe. And you were supposed to order it. And I did. So if you... I did. I just haven't gotten no. it yet, you guys. Okay, I'm going to take the um, recipe down. I'm going to unpublic it, you guys, so that I can um, keep working on it. And I'll try it with the white chocolate. <laughs> so you were doing things. <laughs> what? You decide what the fuck you want to do, then you get a show where you're doing it backwards. Squirrel, what? I, I have to reread that because if I read it, I have to read it. You think? Oh, well, I don't think real mixers don't use sweeteners. Uh, I never said that. I just said that I mm -hmm. personally um don't care for sweeteners because the best real <laughs> mixer i know uses half a percent in every single recipe he does some people that's that's why it's diy do your thing um not if i've been where he lives i'm not scared of anything you got to remember where i came from i've been in recovery 12 and a half years nothing scares me that's right paul told me to put in now i have to do it he doesn't like it when I, I, I have to call him professor or something. He's like, I'm just Paul. I want to call him boss. Like, I know. And I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, so, but yeah, it's all relative. Like if you use sweet, I have recipes with sweeteners in them and there are ones that call for sweeteners. And if, um, the chef called me and said, this recipe needs sweetener. And he told me that in his accent, I would be like, how much and tell me when to stop. Uh, and so, yeah, I would put sweetener in it. would be like, drip yeah. it all over you. And she would do it. Yeah, so, I, mean, I have nothing against sweeteners. I don't. I just, and what my point is, is from what I do without sweeteners, I don't stress over what I do with sweetener because it's not that much was really my I was also I was also told not to add the sweetener until after the recipe's done. Right, don't just because you don't know what you need or what. Don't just automatically go half percent and be done. And that's what I was doing. I was just adding sweetener yeah, in there yeah. before, you know, I was pulling some noob shit. So I'm done with that. And I'm vaping this by itself, and I'm like, <clears throat> it's good. But if you're saying it's going to push the chocolate... I forgot why we said to add the white chocolate. I thought it was to smooth everything out. I didn't remember. So now I know. I'm still going to bake it, though, because I like it. Okay, you know what? It's 530. Yeah. Um, which isn't a bad thing, but um, 
I just before we it gets closer to six, I just kind of want to throw in make sure everybody watches the Mix and Vixens at six o'clock because um, that's in 30 minutes. And I'm sure they have a new recipe tonight. I'm not sure what I didn't see the picture. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Paul says <clears throat> on Sundays I use my secret sweetener, gummy bear. Oh, so yeah. I love it. Really good. Okay. And I wanted to thank all of our supporters. I just, I'm getting this stuff in before I forget. So just bear with me or whatever. Um, and I wanted to thank Developed, who comes on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. at Eastern Standard Time. Um, and down the rabbit hole mixing, Steve O and Aaron. Um, who comes on on Thursdays at 10 p.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time, who usually I try to stay awake for, but this past week I fell asleep before the show started. Um, so I apologize for that, guys. I'll try to stay awake. This week. Um, <laughs> also, um, mixing in the kitchen after dark with daytime Frank on Saturdays, most Saturdays at, um, uh, thank you, Chef. See, I just got, um, Squirreled again. I saw the chat. Squirreled. Okay. Um, most Saturdays, mixing in the kitchen after dark, we're on at 9 p.m. with daytime Frank. This week, he decided to go freaking camping. I mean, really? He's from Jersey, and he goes camping? I'm just like, what the fuck? Okay. He went camping. So if you guys, like, see him and chat or something, give him a hard time about going camping. I mean, what kind of camping did he go to? What, like... Glam glamping or um <clears throat> yeah just let me know when or what to do graham i'll be there whatever you want me to do um well not whatever but <laughs> I have so, we, we have to if not just has he could really make some bank on his his own little fan club you know i'm telling you i'm telling you if he would do little nursery rhymes for bedtime stories to sell they would sell out in a minute in a hot minute they would <laughs> and i'm telling you even um folk art even folk art there are women that love that southern accent i get enough of it here so i don't that's not my thing but there's women who love that southern accent they would be like oh my gosh there's a southern accent reading a bedtime story I want that. Yes. They would love that. So I was telling you, you guys can have like the developed bedtime stories and you could make a killing off that. <laughs> All right. So he, he wants to know if you're going to come mix with him on Wednesday, Tam. You have to do it. But are you going to be able to function listening to him? Are you going to be able to talk? If, you, if you're on the show with developed, are you going to be able to make it through the show just hearing his voice? And, and stay composed. Oh, you mean? Oh, oh. In, the question is, hold on now. The question is, is will he be able to make? <laughs> there you go, Nacho. Can you handle? <laughs> can you handle it? The question is, can he handle it? Not me. <laughs> he says, "Stop it." Okay, so he's going to go from that beautiful complexion and that dark contrast beard to pumpkin black. I love it. So I think I covered everybody. But if you, oh, and make sure you catch my other homeboy on Saturdays at 4 p.m. Fighting off the chair. <laughs> at 4 p.m. on Saturday, U.S. Eastern Standard Time. And my boy, Nick Evans, he released two recipes today. I mean, what's this boy doing? One of them is all mullenberry, a strawberry yeah. um, strawberry and cream um, milkshake thing. <clears throat> so, and if you want recipe links for anybody who's been with the show, look in the description and all of that good stuff. We went full Chocolate, mint fudge, is, <laughs> chocolate mint fudge is not is not on the table anymore though. You won't be able to go. We just looked at that temporarily. So until it gets finished. Okay. That's so fine. Yeah. 
So, yeah, we are DM, DIY pimping to an extent, but we're really only kidding. You know, we're really we're really only joking around. But I do think she's dead serious about the lullaby song. And we love developed. I, I watch back episodes just to, if I want to learn something, I find that I find noted. I find oh, DIY or die. I just I find it. Huh? It's Bogart's birthday. Happy we birthday, to sing, Folk Art. Do we have to sing happy birthday to Folk Art? Uh, no, I have bad luck when I sing online. Do you want me to do it? You go ahead. <clears throat> okay, wait, let me see. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Folk Art. Happy birthday to you. Keep DIY. Awesome. There you go. That was great. You had a great voice. That was awesome. That I see. I would have done a totally different tune, and it would have came out absolutely different. So you did great. That was great. Great. Thank you. Great. Got to have so, some kind of skill. So if he doesn't get to watch any of the show, he's got to watch the last five minutes. Just no, he's got to watch the whole show. Come on. <laughs> You just made all the blood rush to his head. He just texted me. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> if you haven't followed us on Facebook or Instagram or go do that, follow all the other people who's in our um, following, the, who we follow, go follow them too. Thanks for joining us today. Go watch the Mix of Vixens. Go watch Developed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Go watch Down the Rabbit Hole on Thursdays at the night or the morning, whatever you are, wherever you live in this world. Um, anything else, Liana? Don't be afraid to ask questions. The only stupid question that's out there is a question that's not asked. Don't be afraid to get on Discord, uh, maybe not Reddit so much, but, <laughs> and put those questions out there. Um, take everything with, with a grain of salt. Look for common denominators. Don't be afraid to Zoom chat with people and, and talk. Um, you don't have to use your anything but a little icon. Get out there, get involved. If I can saturate something this quickly, and I just started in the middle of April, then anybody can do it. I am not tech savvy that I'm growing and you know you can do this on a small scale or you can do it on a big scale but just have fun be kind think about how you're wording things to people um don't pass judgment on somebody else's methods just be loving have fun and and enjoy your vape that's it get off your butts and vape thank you everybody for tuning in we appreciate it Okay. Oh, yeah. That means I got to go. Yeah. You got to do the end stream thing. <laughs> I have a job. That's right. <laughs> okay. There we go. Thanks, guys.